Okay, so in this video, I'm just going to explain what is netting. So netting is quite a new process to be introduced to a state agency. It's not something that most agents have heard of, although it's been around in other businesses for quite a long time. So the idea is that you put your prospects, in this case being valuations, into a net and they actually never leave the net. So regardless of whether they instruct you, they instruct another agent, or whether they think about the, uh, putting their house on the market for a long period of time, they stay in your net and you stay communicating with them. So it actually has sort of five steps that take you around this process of netting. The first is creating a proposal. So what you do is you create some sort of a web-based proposal that you can send through to the, to the vendor, telling them about their market appraisal. This, in turn, will, when they look at it, will pull them into some form of tracking system. Uh, the tracking system will allow you to know when that person is on the website, looking at their proposal, whenever the right time is to speak to these people. So the next part after tracking is that they'll go around into a nurture system. The nurture system will communicate with this person over a long period of time via email about things that might be of use to them. So it's not necessarily emails that are constantly saying, put your house on the market, put your house on the market. They might be emails that say something like, Here's five tips on how to settle your child into a new school. Here's the big three biggest mistakes someone makes when building an extension. Just useful content that is kind of communicating with this person in, in the sense of making them feel that we're not worried if you're ready to sell your house today. We're not worried if you're going to use us. If you're not, we just thought you might like this information. What that's doing is it's creating more touch points with that person with your business. They spend more time with your business. They become more loyal to your business. They're more likely to use you when they do move back into the active market. If they click to read any of that content, they're in the tracking system. So the next part of, of, of uh, the netting process is notifications. What the system will do is it will notify you when it is the right time to contact that person. Let's, let's look at this. You valued somebody's house. You sent them the proposal. They went into your tracking system. They went into the nurture program. Three months have passed nothing's happened, they've gone out of your callback diary, you've kind of forgotten about them, you're constantly nurturing them. So even though you've forgotten about it and you're busy doing something else, your emails are still arriving. One of the emails goes through to them and talks about something that they specifically like the sound of, they click to read it, that fires a notification back to you in the office and says, Mark Burgess, whose house you valued on this date at this address is currently on the website reading five things to do before you sell your house which in turn will allow you know that, to know that it's the right time maybe to drop a call into that person and just catch up with them to see how they're doing. So the final part of the netting process is instruction. Obviously you put all of that together. There are some people where you go around and value their house and they'll give you the instruction straight away, great. But for the majority of people, in more and more cases, that's not what happens. They need some time to think about it. It might take days, it might take weeks, it might take months, in some cases it might take years. If you use a netting process, you actually put all of those people into the net and they never leave.